Hi, hi everyone. Welcome to K News 24/7. My name is Cameron. K is our chief supporters. It is bad. It is bad. So I think we must have this conversation. This conversation, guys. I know a lot of you are pointing fingers to the coach, Athazwani, saying that Zwani is failing the club. I agree. I agree. I can say 60% agree. But the other forty percent, I disagree, because he's not the only one. He's not the only one who is creating this failure. So also the the, the players, they also have a hand in that. Also these players, uh, we need their confidence. We need their strength. Stinga i mindset here, but it looks like they are not willing. Also these players to give their best. Look at Abu Sitebe. Look at Abu Mat. I know the changes. Uh, my substitutions were wrong, totally wrong. Uh, I'm just referring to the recent game that we lost against Elementville Golden Arrows. So players are being placed in wrong positions. Uh, like Abu Patu said to Nange. Nange were supposed to replace U U Sitebe because these people, these two people, they play similar football. So it was unnecessary that it, that that what created a gap in the midfield. Uguti pume umtutuzi shabalala and then bafage uunangi because besegu ne hole. I I experience I seko not just experience but skill. A seko ne ability. I football football control ability. I ball control gam do or die. It is on another level. And we needed that in the midfield. Uh, that's why we score uh, stop uh, golden arrows to keep on attacking. We see Labantu, umdu Otai, u Christian Saile, uh, even not only. Nay, he was contributing, even though his form it have dropped, like dropped, guys. So we can say we can say no in a churena, uh, that place is different if a, a player if a, a good player comes to naturena uh agasab na those abilities began now magalela uh little up lay begalela yona looking at um who actually to praise looking at ukama billiard looking at okay and doli these players they were best they were excellent players uh, Guma Melody Sundowns, Ugu Stellenbosch FC, but when they comes to Kaiser Chiefs, to Nacho Rena, they drop the form. Maybe, maybe it's because of some spiritual things that are involved. Maybe we can count something like that, guys, because it's impossible. Look at these injuries. Look at these injuries. All the best players are injured. We can blame our back for for yesterday's match, but come on, guys, we had no one. Frostler, Solomon's, Matoho, all of them are injured. So just imagine Dove Edmelson, like Umunde City screening eye, that person gets injured. Also Umdo or die, got injured now. He just came back. At least we were lucky. We had Umdo or die who came back from the injury. He, re he recovered faster. So I think there's a problem. There's a problem spiritually that needs uh, Mutaung himself to, to fix it. To fix it. As in, there's a news circulating all over the internet. There's Inyanga, a traditional healer, who advised uh, Mutaung to, to, to do the right thing, to honor, to honor Ilento Lena Unene, Aminze Nusebinzi, because... They say he's not happy. Nene is not happy where he is. So, kona something I believe, guys. Because after seeing all the terrible things in case Chiefs, I can believe. And another thing, another major thing, apart from spiritual beliefs and stuff, I think this family business thing is killing the club. This family business and friendship it is killing the club, guys, because we, we, we can't employ, we can't get coaches, we can't get proper coaches technically, we can't get anyone technically who is highly experienced, who can help the team go forward because it's a family business. They think Bobby will do it. K 
Kaiser Jr. will do it. Athazwane, Athazwane is just a family friend. That's the reason he got the job of being a coach, I think, because he's just a family friend. They've been there for a long time. So he's like a family friend. So that's why the club, they are not going anywhere. They are not going anywhere, guys. And the one thing I can promise you, if Keiza Mutawong passed away, that's where we'll see the horror. Because it will be the end of Keiza Chiefs. He's still alive now, but still you can see the management. They are failing. I can say big up to Jessica Mutawong. She's doing a great job in promoting the brand. She's doing an incredible job. But in terms of Abu Bobi, come on, I don't see their job. I don't see their job contributing to the club. I, I don't see anything. Because they're even failing to give us Dr. Kumalo. Guys, technically, we are weak. We are poor technically. Yesterday, uh, guys, we, we, we've lost against Golden Arrows because technically-wise, we are not good. Athazwane, he's just there alone. We can blame him, but I think he needs assistance. Because if you can look at uh, our competitors, Mamelodi Sundowns, they now have four coaches. Just imagine, four coaches. The club that, was, that, that have been dominating the DSTV Premiership for, for, for the past five years. Even now, they are still dominating. They have four coaches. Just imagine. So you want to compete with that club with what? With nothing? Come on, guys. We can't compete. Look at Orlando Pirates. They are doing better. Uh, Chigel Day was just there because it was a short-term contract, but we all we, we, we all witnessed the difference that was there at Orlando Pirates. We've seen the strike force, Abu Monopole Saling, they, 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 they were managing, they were able to score because there was an assistant, assistant from the coach, a striker coach. Why can't we get that? Hmm? Come on, guys, we are leaking technically. We are, we are leaking and we, we want to compete. I don't understand. How can we compete while we are not equal? We, we are not trying even our best to make the equation balance between us and our competitors. Guys, we are the biggest brand, but we are failing. We are failing, guys. We can't even sign quality players. Look at Bimenyimana. That guy is dead. For me, I don't count Bimenyimana, guys. We can say he need assistance, but as a player, sometimes if you can see that you don't have assistance, do the job yourself. We see Christi we see best players in the world, Cristiano Ronaldo, Messi, Neymar. They do the job if they, they see that there's no assistance from their teammates. They can mark the ball. And create scoring opportunities. But looking at Spiminimana, you don't do that. Lomuntu yanga tale umale pambili abe offside. And then Peli Mesh, he got two touches. So that's useless. As a player, as long as you are a striker, don't think like uh, if you are a striker, you are not allowed to mark the ball. No. If these players, they can remove that mentality of that, okay, I'm a striker. So there's a defender. A, a job of a defender is to mark the ball. So I can't do that also because I'm a striker. I think they have to uh, remove that type of thinking. Maybe these players, they can do better themselves. Because they are poor, guys. Abu Sitebe, Abu Mat, West Part Umat. He can't take responsibilities. He's, he's afraid of being in charge, Umat. As a midfield, you, 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 must, you must be free to play football. Because as a midfield, you are an engine. You are the one who is controlling the game. You are controlling the tempo of the game. But looking at Yusuf Matt, he's afraid to take that responsibility. And it is his job. It is, it is his job. We have players outside Abu Matlo, Abu Mashazi. I don't know why the coach is not giving those players an opportunity.